Now they say cabbages always come in pairs. They're like onions and they also shed because they have layers like ogres. Today we will be making cabbages, everybody. Welcome, Aura. Hey, it's good to be here. We're going to make some cabbage today. These are my hands and I'm going to make something. You heard it here, folks. Aura's going to make us some cabbages. Yep. I'm going to make some cabbages. Let's go. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of One Plate Gourmet. Today, we'll be making cabbage. We will be making a traditional Japanese dish called a okonomiyaki. Let's begin, shall we? For this, we'll be using green onions, one carrot, about four eggs, some sugar, some ginger, some soy sauce, some salt, pepper to taste, of course, some flour, and of course our cabbage we'll only need about maybe a quarter of this i think yeah we'll see we're first going to start by peeling our carrot which this whole time i keep messing up and almost saying orange so forgive me if i say orange i don't know why i say orange it's probably because of the color anyway we're going to peel the skin off and we're just going to discard it then we're going to cut up our carrot almost did it there again and we're going to kind of like dice them into fine sized pieces. We want them to be small, but not too tiny because the main focus after all is the cabbage. Next, place these in a bowl and we're going to set them aside. After this is done, we're going to move on to our spring onions or our green onions, depending on whatever region you're from, that's what you call it. And we're going to mince these into fine sized pieces. You want to keep the whites because the whites add color to your dish. After this, we're going to move on to our head of cabbage. We're going to first cut it in half longitudinally like that. I think I'm using that word right. Then we're going to just, we only need one half, so we'll just dispose of that other half over there. And then we're going to mince it by first making incisions on the sides. We're using our two finger method where you place your fingers like so and just cut across the edge. Careful not to get into the white parts and careful not to mince your fingers. I created this method. Some shaky camera. Then we're going to mince the rest of our cabbage. We want them to be fine because we don't want them to be too chunky. Place them in a bowl and set them aside. Next in our bowl of flour, add in sugar, salt, ginger, and black pepper to taste. The only the black peppers to taste, but you won't actually taste it. But just mix it in with the flour. And once that's done, we're going to crack open our four eggs with one hand like the professional chef that we are. Careful not to get any eggshells inside of it, but no worries. If you get any eggshells inside, you can just take them out with a fork. Once this is done, you can begin to whisk them all together. Uh, some may recommend whisking the eggs in a separate bowl, then combining it. But I like to take risks. That was tea. Add in your soy sauce. Mix that in. Before proceeding to add in your spring onions. Add in your carrots as well and add in about a third of your cabbage. This is just so that you get to mix it in a little bit before you add in the rest. You don't want an overcrowded uh, plate, bowl. Yeah, bowl, yeah. Next, once that's ready, you add in the rest of your cabbage and kind of like mix it all in. Let these flavors get to know each other a little bit better. Once this is done, you should have a consistency that looks something like this then you know your dish is ready to be cooked. Thought I was gonna say served, but I didn't. Over medium heat, you wanna just oil up your pan with some olive oil or oil of choice, up to you technically. Then using a ladle, you wanna take two ladles worth of your cabbage mixture and just pour it into your pan. Using your spatula, you kinda wanna shape it to make a circular shape. It will naturally just try to be a circle. 
and after about five minutes you can check if it's done by just moving it around on your pan if there's little to no resistance that's how you know that side is done and then carefully carefully very carefully flip it there we go you want that nice browning crust on that side and on the other side when it's done leave this side for about five minutes and then get ready to flip unfortunately we are not experts so the first time we did this we didn't get the result we wanted so we're going to try this again this time we're going to try leaving it in for about eight minutes instead of five minutes so do the same thing ladle in your cabbage use your spatula to kind of shape it into a shape that you want which will most likely be a circle because gravity and then we're going to just check if it's done underneath just give a little peek here and then once it's ready flip it and a nice golden brown color should surface then once that's ready go ahead and flip it that's the color we want ladies and gentlemen get ready to plate your dish ladies and gentlemen your dish is ready to be served using sriracha sauce because today's topic ingredient was cabbage and not okonomiyaki so please have some patience i'll make okonomiyaki sometime later then take your spoon and spread that sriracha sauce all over and using your mayonnaise instrument, just generously coat your okonomiyaki with a heaping amount of mayo. Top with a lot of sesame seeds, a generous amount, like a lot, right? Then go ahead and top with your spring onions, a lot of them, the rest of them actually top with your carrots and ladies and gentlemen there you have it okay so now it's my turn my name is Aura and I'm here on my very good friend Gabby's show to make some cabbage so in a minute, we're gonna go through the ingredients. These are all it, as you can see, of course. And I'm really excited. This dish is gonna be totally vegan. We're gonna start off with some almonds, one cup of sliced shaved almonds, one cup of raw honey. Actually, no, that's two tablespoons. One tablespoon of paprika one tablespoon of salt or salt to taste it's your choice and of course we have one green cabbage one purple cabbage carrot and pepper to taste we're gonna start with thinly slicing our cabbage as so lengthwise careful not to cut your fingers okay that looks pretty good now we'll cut them in half so that they're not too long strips. And then we're gonna do the same with the purple cabbage. Cut it once in half, as such. It's so pretty on the inside. Okay, so now we're gonna discard that part. I don't like using that. And slice it the same way as we did the green cabbage. And then dice it in half, as such. Then we're gonna start peeling our carrot all the way around. And I like to cut the ends off. That's a preference. Cut it in half, and we're gonna julienne these. So we're just gonna cut these in half lengthwise, then in half, again, and in smaller strips. So you're trying to get it as thinly cut as possible. And it's just for aesthetic, for, you know, it's a choice. And I like that choice. Julienne. <laughs> and do the same for the rest of the carrots. You're gonna drizzle some olive oil. Make sure that it's fully coated, otherwise your cabbage will stick. Unless you have a non-stick pan, then feel free to use that. We're gonna put in um, all our carrots. So we use one whole carrot in this. Julienne method. Yep, they're all in there. Now we're gonna add some salt to taste 
and stir it around. Make sure that you cook the carrots first because they need to soften a little bit more than the cabbage. Now we'll put our cabbage, purple cabbage. And I cut up a whole half of a purple cabbage, but I ended up using only a quarter of each. So a quarter of purple cabbage and a quarter of the whole green cabbage. So we're gonna stir them around just to mix up the ingredients in the pan. It's fine if you struggle a little bit, they'll wilt. And you keep doing that. You wanna keep stirring because you don't want it to get stuck to the pan. And then add a little bit more salt to taste. You're gonna add the tablespoon of paprika. Make sure all of them are coated and pepper to taste. And you want to use that sparingly because the paprika is already a little bit smoky and then the pepper is a little spicy. Good mix. And now lastly, we're going to do our shaved almonds and our two tablespoons of honey. And you do that right before you're ready to take the cabbage off the pan, off the heat. Give it one last stir so that everything is coated. And voila. And I don't know how this ended up as a square on this square plate, but we plated it nonetheless. So we're gonna top it now using the sliced almonds. Yeah, throw that on there. Almond bay. Mm-hmm. And there you have it. Shu etamande. And I totally butchered that, but it's okay. Like always, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to see the trailer for this episode, click up here. And if you'd like to watch more, click down there. Bye! I don't think it's a lot of mail. At this point, aren't you just only tasting mayo and not? Well, Charmin, I don't want to hear it from you. <laughs>